Alright, so, me and Aaron here. Hi, Aaron. Quick video on these LED lights for my car. So, very quickly because it's late. So, under there, there's like a little uh, tab thing. Which you can literally just pop out like that. Then this. Can you hold that a second? Please, Aaron. Don't need to torch too much on this bit. Little red tab. Pull that up. If it's gonna come up. There you go. Like that. There you go. And then pull straight out. New one's got like this resistor thing on it. And then straight plug back in. Make sure it's the right way up. Like that. Plug in. And then turn it on a minute. Jesus Christ. Camera picking up, obviously. Yeah. Now, just put that all back in there. There's the difference. Hopefully that's Cheers. the friggin' e thing. Yeah, it will be. So that's the difference compared to standard to 17 pound ones on eBay. I'll put the link in the description below. So let me just quickly put both of them on. And there you go. Both of them done. That's Aaron's. That's mine. Very, very bright compared. Well, my old ones were just dull anyway. But, uh, yeah, that's Aaron's. Yeah, it's just the way they go up the floor, man. It's the actual it. light as well. It's like a, yeah, it's it is actual literally white. reverse light as well. It's a white light. And then, um, probably next video, I don't know if you're going to be here. Are you going to be here? When's that? Friday? No. Work. No. So, i got LED reverse lights going in, uh, gloss black, badges on the boot and the front, and paddle extensions. So, I shall see you in the next video. Alright, and this is the one of my presents. So, let's go inside the car and see what they are. Alright, these are my DSG extension. Oh, I'll show the right way up. DSG extensions. So they go right there where my DSG already is. And uh, makes a big difference straight away. So let's get to applying these in the box. They do come with oh, screws, if you can see. Yeah, screws there, and some 3M double sided tape. As you can see there, if it's going to focus in, screw hole there, and two at the top to put screws in and secure it onto the paddle already. Alright, so they sit in like this. Alright, so I'm going to take the back in off and whack it onto there all right so one side is a nice thread and then the other side there you go it's an allen key which i have right here don't know what size it is it comes with the kit for 26 pound or whatever so i'm gonna screw those in ready to put onto there ready to be fully screwed in um a quick tip is to put the threaded side of it already on this it's hard to film one hand on this and then put it upside down because obviously it's not magnetic this part and screw them in because they are very small and very fiddly to put in all right there you go i just don't like how they're silver screws it'd be a lot better if they were black screws but looks a lot better than that little bit sounds cooler as well two GSG extensions in satin I would say satin ain't exactly matte and ain't glossy satin black looks quite cool very nice only thing is like I said I do not like the silver screws but if you are that fussy like me, you can always spray them 
can't see the bottom ones so the bottom ones can stay as they are but I might just spray the tops even though when it goes back through the thread it's going to uh, come out silver but we can see what we can do about that if not leave it that alright next modification not today as the, you can't see the light is going down but I'm going to be doing reverse lights tomorrow so we'll see you then alright third day and I have these LEDs reverse lights which go there I will change one I'll show you a comparison and then I'll show you how to actually fit it you can tell the difference that is standard and that is LED I can I need to get this out oh, there okay cool does it still work if it's open no okay all power goes off that's all right. If it gives you like an idea, it's like there's the like light coming off of that one. Comes like proper yellowy. See how like yellow my hand goes? Yeah, just an idea. Alright, so it's super easy. Really, really easy. Alright, no tools needed. That bit there, put your finger on it, pull it off, put that to one side. See that or oh, I don't know if you can see it yes there the only strand of cable on its own literally just twist that slightly I think or just pull it yeah twist anti-clockwise and then it comes straight out and then this is very hard one-handed I'm gonna say which way to twist be like push it in and twist anti-clockwise and it'll come straight out so just to get an idea also nice big ass LED compared so put it back in there is two notches can you see the notches one second right yeah see those two notches lines up with the two off axis pins okay so then put those in like that oh this is difficult that yeah, push it twist to the right I think that's fully in yeah cool then see those two tabs like see you can't really see like see that notch sticking out that lines up with those two side notches so literally make sure they're straight push in twist clockwise and they are solid and then put that back on and we're all good I should go put them back on and let's see the difference Tons, tons better. Goes with the LED number plate now. Yo, what is up? Today is the last part of the like two week long video of me putting in little bits. So I have gloss black badges, front and rear, and I've also wrapped this, if you can see, in the shadow black that I used to have the Audi in. So, um, what I'm gonna do take that off and I'm pretty sure if you can see that little dip out of it literally just take that off obviously I'm one person again today so I'm going to do that take it off quickly and kind of show you where I done what right got off that was an absolute ball ache and I ended up scratching the uh, car a tiny bit can't really see it but I know it's there and it's upset me now so anyway literally straight swap these now old gloss put the, the new one and then the old chrome against the new black so I've also got some gloss white vinyl just in case uh, well after a while if I get bored of this but yeah, we shall put this on a moment. 
and see what it looks like. That's over the top. Like that. Nice snug fit. Hmm. Is it too much black so you can't really see it? Until you're kind of up close of it. Uh, what should I do? What should I do? Should I go white? No, I am going to keep it like this because everyone goes white or matte black or gloss black. I think it looks quite cool in person. The difference. So, now we're going to move on to the front badge. I'm going to try and do it without taking everything apart because it's got loads of little tabs and that. So, go take that off and I should tell you how hard it is. With this one, all I had to do was get an edge, like, get an edge. I chose the bottom because just in case I, like, messed up the, the badge, at least it's at the bottom and you can't really see it. So, uh, what I'm going to do is che well, obviously I'm gonna wrap this because if I go gloss black and gloss black you can't really see it so I'm gonna do shadow black again so still black but goes with my number plates if you haven't already seen them on Instagram and there we go yeah man a bit different compared to normal black or to wrap it white to go with the body of the car thanks very much for watching and i shall see you in the next video